careful how you break my heart I might need it now A square for another dart It's easy when you just give in Cause no one needs to know And we don't talk about it everybody doing? Here I am today at Forest Lawn, Hollywood Hills. Ah, this is a beautiful cemetery. It's very, very big. I've been here a few times. There are so many famous people that are uh, at rest here. To see them all in one video would be very, very difficult. I'm going to show you three or four that are here. If I come across a few other ones, I'm going all by memory of where because I've been out here with a friend before and was taking pictures and walking around. But right now, uh, I'm gonna go first and show you the grave of Paul Walker, Brian O'Connor from Fast and the Furious, and for my favorite movie, one of them, Joyride. Love that movie. Paul Walker, I believe, is just up here, not too far. Let's go take a look. Yeah, I believe he's somewhere around here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's always kind of hard for me to remember exactly where I'm supposed to be going. But yeah, it's, he's somewhere around here. Probably should have done my research a little better before coming out, but it's fun to walk in here. Here he is, Paul Walker right here. People leave a lot of stuff out here for Paul Walker, There's some flowers. Last time I was here, there were race cars and things put up top because of Fast and the Furious. As of right now, it looks like uh, some flowers, American flag, that sort of thing. Here we are. How much room to leave stuff here? Do my best. A little rock there. So, as you know, probably Paul Walker died in a very tragic car accident up in uh, Valencia, California. Uh, yeah, and a lot of, he, he, that was a shock. That was a huge shock around the world. He had legions of fans. A lot of, a lot of outpouring of grief for Paul Walker. And he seemed like such an amazing person. He seemed such a nice guy. And it's so tragic to die that young, especially in such a horrific way. Paul Walker, rest in peace. Now I'm going to take you to gravesite of someone I used to watch in reruns on a show that I loved growing up. I thought it was so funny. And still, when it's on, I cannot take my eyes off of this gentleman. The way he acts is so funny. Let's go visit his grave right now. So it's hard to find John Ritter's grave. It's not as easy as I always think it's going to be. But I'm pretty sure it's down here somewhere. Let's see what I can find, if I can find it quickly. The sun is going down on another day in Hollywood. <sighs> Boy. It's not easy sometimes. The 
So after much searching, that took a long time, found uh, John Ritter, one of my favorite actors. Real man with, with uh, Jim Belushi. Hey, who are those clowns? One of the funniest lines ever. And of course he was Jack Tripper from The Beast Company. Lives on and reruns right here. John Ritter, beloved husband, father, brother, brother, son, and friend. And in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. There you go. Love John Ritter. Who doesn't? Just such a talented, talented man. Brilliant. Brilliant comedic actor, brilliant actor. Passed away on the set of Eight Simple Rules for dating my teenage daughter, a TV show he was doing. Collapsed on set and they rushed him across the street to, I believe it was the Bob Hope Hospital, but whatever, it's, whatever it is called there, I'm, I'm sure they can't remember exactly. But yeah, pronounced at the hospital, really sad. Only 55 years old, that's young, that is young. Now I'm just gonna show you around Forest Lawn, take you to a few random graves that uh, I could find as I'm walking around. The sun is setting, so we've got a uh, little time here. But I'll show you what I can. Let's go. The man on the Silver Mountain, Ronnie James Dio, famous musician. Right underneath this painting, That's where Ronnie James Dio is. That's pretty cool with the peace sign there. I mean, or, sorry, the devil horns. That's pretty cool there, the devil horns on the planter. Right there as well. Continuing in the forest lawn. I can't even begin to describe how many actors and famous musicians and such are buried and entombed here. To do them all in one video would be impossible, so I'm just showing you a few while I'm here. And here, coming up, is the grave of Princess Leia and her mother, Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds, buried right here. I'll show you right now. As you can see, they died a day apart. Carrie Fisher, best known as Princess Leia, Debbie Reynolds, famous singer, actress, dancer, right here, buried side by side. If you remember the movie Green Mile, you remember this actor, Michael Clark Duncan, right here, right around the corner from Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher. Beloved son, brother, uncle, friend, and actor, you bless the world with your talent. Your smile will forever brighten the heavens. We love you. So many people are buried here, Liberace, uh, Betty Davis. I don't have time to get to them today, but I want to come out here again and see Brittany Murphy's grave. I've been here a few times, so it just will take me a minute or two to find it, but I will, okay. As you can see, there's some deer really close by. Really, really close by. 
But Brittany Murphy, I remember, is, is around here somewhere on this lawn overlooking Hollywood Hills. Her house isn't too far from here, the house where her and her husband both passed away. So it should be right around here. So as the sun is setting, you can see it's all Brittany Murphy Monjack, our precious daughter, wife, and angel to all. Wow, only 32 years old, and her husband, Simon, who died like six months afterwards at the age of 40. Beloved son, husband, father, renaissance man, and all that jazz. Fortunately, I have one rock. I'll place it here. Brittany Murphy and people come out and leave some interesting stuff, some lipstick, little dolls. Yeah. Brittany Murphy right here. Rest in peace, Brittany and Simon. Okay, you can see the sun setting. It's almost down. This day has come to an end. Hope you enjoyed this video, this little tour, short tour of Hollywood Hills Forest Lawn. If you come here, do some research online, get a, get the map that's online, and plan to spend a few hours. I just, just did this in about 40 minutes, roughly, and it wasn't easy, but it was all by memory. There's so many other graves, I can't remember where they are. You'll, you'll, it'll, two, three hours to get through here, at least. And it's beautiful grounds, and it's the greatest view. You can see the studios, you can see the lights of Los Angeles, you can see Hollywood, all out there. Rest in peace to all the celebrities and actors, musicians that I saw today. And to all of you, I love you. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Hollywood.